God evening beautiful souls this is Mina Means once again I am the time oracle and it is Tuesday night August the 30th 2022 we're at the 21st hour 48 minutes in it is 9 48 p.m. it's raining y'all I love the rain I love the rain Who walked away? Who left? Who said never mind? Who said boy bye? Who said bye Felicia? Who said I'm out of here? Who said I'm done? Who walked away? Who said I quit? Who said it's over? Somebody walked away. I just heard a voice that said, I can't do this anymore. Boy, oh boy. Mm -hmm. I feel like whoever said that or whoever is thinking about saying that to someone has been thinking about it for a while now. Mm -hmm. Something may have happened or something is getting ready to happen that's gonna cause somebody to just say, you know what, I can't. I really can't deal with this anymore. I'm done. Mm-hmm. It's like suddenly looking at the bright side. It's like having an epiphany. Like the light bulb just miraculously going off in your head. Or should I say on? There's something that you're getting ready to see or you are going to see things for what they are or you're just going to have a different point of view about what's been going on and it's like a moment of enlightenment it's like you know what I never thought about it like that but now that I do I'm out mm-hmm yep Boy, oh boy. Mm -hmm. Because whatever this is about, this is about your life. This is about your well-being. This is about where you're going, your life's purpose. Whether you have decided to move on, move away, get a new place, new job, whatever. This is about you. So, somebody's decided to just move on. Bye. Let's dig in this book. Speak to me, Father God, what is going on? Speak to me, Father God. Somebody could be a cancer. I don't know why I just got a vision of a horse. But I'm getting cancer energy all of a sudden. 
Father God, speak to me now. What's going on? Or maybe it just has to do with someone moving on. Exactly. Chariot. Moving on, moving forward. Moving away. Getting a car. Getting on an airplane. I don't know. Transportation. Leaving. Going bye-bye. Oh. Somebody. Yeah. Something about calmer waters here. It's been rough. It's been really rocky. I'm seeing a whole bunch of rocks here. Somebody could be an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. A lot of rocks. It's been a rocky road. I see a door. Someone has cameras outside of their door. Maybe somebody's watching your door. Boy, oh boy. Mm -hmm. The letter E. Oof. I see a hater. Boy, oh boy. What you mad at? Oh, this is a hater right here with a long nose. Pinocchio much? Let me find out. Somebody's a liar. Somebody's been lying about something. I feel like it's a man. This is a sure masculine energy right here. Yeah. Someone regrets having lied to you or having lied about something to someone. I see a whole liar right here. And this person is mad. This person could have got caught or is about to get caught. The letter Z like zebra. Something about a bracelet. Or a wristwatch. Someone has a very pretty bracelet wristwatch. And it has like an oval face to it. It's real pretty. And it has like, I don't know, rhinestones or diamonds around it or just something around it. Or this could just be a bracelet with a cute oval shaped gemstone. Somebody stole something or maybe you found that it's been missing and you don't know why, but you're, it's like you're kind of suspecting as to who could have taken it from you. I keep seeing like noses. I see a man with a long ass Pinocchio nose and I see another nose over here. So somebody is sniffing out <sighs> clues as to what happened. Somebody stole something out of someone's house. Boy, oh boy. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, honey. Mm hmm I just heard she wasn't comfortable. I just heard she wasn't comfortable. Somebody wasn't comfortable with something. Someone. Mm-hmm. I see a police badge right here. Let me find out. A police badge. Let me find out. This has to do with a thief. Maybe somebody doesn't want to answer questions. Somebody doesn't want to talk. Or someone's just deciding, you know what, never mind, I just let it go. But there's a reason behind somebody who wouldn't want the police to get involved. It's not that they're tired of the situation, although they could be, but I feel like it's more of fear of retaliation. I see a key right here. Fear of retaliation. Boy, oh boy, what the hell is this about? Why am I looking at a drone? Is that a drone? That could be a drone. Mm-hmm. I see someone pouring something out of a cup. 
I see a broom and a sock. Brooms and socks, sweeping things out. A lot of dust or protecting your feet, protect where you're going, protecting your path. The letter L. Mm -hmm. A reversed letter Y. I see a tree. The letter A. Mm -hmm. The letter X. Yep. Something from the past. I see some scissors. Somebody got cut off or will be cutting someone off shortly. Somebody could be uh, getting fired. I see the letter H, the letter W. Mm, 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 mm. This is deep. I see a shield. Protection, protecting one's self. Someone is protecting themselves. Yeah, it's like, this is why somebody doesn't want to talk or someone was deciding that they don't want to deal with something anymore. It's like, look, this situation is tired. Let's just, okay, close this case. Bye. Yep. I see a bird. Mm hmm. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I keep seeing keys. Something about a lock, something about a door, a lockbox, a safe. Feeling safe. Or not feeling safe. I'm ready for the cards. Loyalty. It says here loyalty. This one says blessings. Mm hmm. Somebody's very focused. Speak to me, Father God. Speak to me, Father God. What's going on? There you go. We have Scorpio energy. It says I transform. And then we have the Grand Cross provoker someone's going to approach you about something about something that you have decided is dead and gone something that you have closed the chapter on you're no longer worried about or you just don't want to deal with someone is deciding to come to you and ask you questions about something that you are completely done with or maybe somebody just wants to approach provoke you literally now we're looking at mercury retrograde it says reinvention didn't i tell you this is about something that you're done with something from the past this is a case closed why is somebody trying to reopen a case a situation talk about something that you no longer care about because you're focused damn did you just see that? Now that happened by mistake. A whole book. Like, let me find out. Somebody has reopened a case. Somebody is checking old messages, old complaints. And it's like, it's like getting a second opinion. It's like reopening a file. Because something wasn't handled correctly the first time. So maybe there's like a second pair of eyes looking at a situation this is deep this is real deep something about a couple here we have leo the mind boy oh boy sacrifice some kind of conflict look at that we have lies a lying man 
Look at that. A man in the dark about something. The world. Some kind of. What? Come on. Somebody walked away. Somebody tried to escape. Look at the truth. Somebody's looking for the truth here. Destiny and creativity. You know what? All right. Let's just go ahead and do what we got to do. We have partners, Leo, the mind, sacrifice, conflict, the moon, a man, second house, the world, change, the body, and void of course moon. Let's see what else we have. Father God speak. What? The road less traveled fell in reverse. Mm -hmm. Holding on strong. Then we have friend. Alone. Peace. And freedom. All four of these energies fell out in reverse. Boy oh boy. It says here no respect. Yep. No respect. Mm -hmm. Competition. Strength, hard work, handle your business, lovers, success, father, stalker, karma, boy oh boy, victory, the fool, and bad vibes. Yep, so we have this lover's energy out here with some kind of conflict. Two people clashing. Somebody got beef with you that you don't even have beef with anymore. Or maybe somebody's ex has beef with you or someone's current person, right? This could be your ex's person, new person that got beef with you. Some kind of conflict here with lovers. Maybe a couple got beef with you. I don't know. But there's some kind of beef here. Let's further confirm that with this competition. Same thing. Competition is conflict with a couple, partners. This could be two people that are in a relationship that could be clashing right now. This could be you and someone from your past. Maybe you are on a break from someone or you're just thinking about breaking up with your current person. I don't know. But there's definitely some conflict here surrounding a couple about a relationship. This could be third party situations, maybe not. But we do have the three card out here. It says mind. It says here hard work. Somebody could be stressed. Stressed at work. Somebody could be trying to make it hard for you to focus. Because we have a victory here. This victory is in Scorpio's house surrounded by the world and the mind. Look at the change. So somebody is no longer sad about a situation or somebody could be in the process of getting over something and someone could be trying to stop someone, right? Let's say you're trying to get over a situation or maybe you already have. So here comes this person like, nope, bringing drama to your door, trying to contact you, doing things behind the scenes to get you mad, to piss you off, to set you off, right? Because they don't want you to have this victory. They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to be in this road less traveled because this is you. This is what's gonna ultimately take you to your true destination, to your victory. Someone's trying to stop you. We have this karma energy out here with the world. Quit playing with me. And this is in Libra's house. Surrounded by change and Leo. So. Somebody's 
somebody has already paid for their dirty deeds against you or maybe this is happening now or maybe it's forthcoming i don't know but if it's past tense somebody can't sleep at night knowing that they got caught and you're just out here doing your thing with your freedom and this victory in your strength I mean come on this is the strength card coupled with Leo this is what it is strength and courage having the heart right when you tell someone you got heart yes you do you have a lot of heart you faced this situation head on you did what you had to do and now you're moving on or maybe you have been moving on somebody's like nope you're not about to have this little peace of mind and your little victory i'm not done with you it's how somebody feels look at the damn stalker i can't make this up couple with the second house i'm strongly picking up third party situation somebody is stalking your house it's just what I'm getting here. Okay. Somebody stalks everything that you do, wherever you go. Someone knows your schedule like clockwork. Look at the masculine energy. It says father with the force, Mars. You see a man there. I can't make this up. This is a man in a woman's house, but it's like a woman from the past. This is a woman from the past. Boy, oh boy. Look at handle your business with sacrifice. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you had a choice to make. And it wasn't even a choice about two people. You just chose to do you because somebody came through with bad vibes and they were starting to set you up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mentally, I'm picking up. Okay? Somebody came through with bad vibes. And so, you said, I'm done. I'm not dealing with this. I'm not tolerating this. I don't want you. Go away. Okay? This is coupled with the damn void, of course, moon. Because in your mind, you figure this ain't gonna go nowhere anyway because this person is coming in with karmic energies, bad vibes. It's like person number one, right? With the fool. And then you have the second house. Person number two. And this is who the person has been stalking. I feel like this person has been stalking you. This person came in not quite single. This person came in already having a place to stay. Already having a person. First house. Already sleeping with someone. And the fool here is person number one. Because that person could have chose to stay. Even though this person may have been out there cheating. And person number one already knew about it. Boy, oh boy. Okay. And here goes person number two. Having the strength to walk away. And now this person is stalking. Look at the success card. Success. With the moon. So it's either this person thought that they could get away with juggling between two people, two households, right? Third party situation. Or this is you keeping your success a secret. Could be both. Could be all of the above. And I feel like because you have this victory, somebody's out here in this sad energy. Because they're not a part of your victory. Sadness in the Scorpio house. Someone's crying over someone who put an end to the situation. So even though this person could still be with person number one, right? Their person. They are still trying to get to you.
this is a very tiresome situation because you're done you've been done and i feel like somebody wants to come back to reopen the files this could be something that happened two years ago maybe three maybe it hasn't been that long i don't know but somebody still wants to know what happened why did you walk away why won't you call me this person thinks that they are the one for you. You could have walked away and you haven't dated ever since. So it's like in this person's mind, they're the last that you dealt with. So in their minds, they feel like they're special because you haven't moved on. But I feel like that's your choice, though. You haven't moved on because you don't want to move on right now. You're focused. You have success. You're handling your business out here. You have victory. You're working hard. You know, you're doing what you got to do. And this person doesn't understand that it's your choice to be single right now. But in their mind, they feel like they should at least be able to get you back, being that they were they're the last ones that you've been with. You know what? I can't deal. Let's just go to the word. Speak to me, Father God. Mm, 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 mm. We have some energies that flipped over. We have creator. Baptism. Somebody is trying to create a new beginning with you. With the moon. Mm -hmm. This person is trying to figure out how to come back to you. But I feel like even if they try to contact you or if they succeed, they're still coming in with lies. They still have things to hide. Okay. We have this Peter that fell out on top of the karma energy. This is somebody who just keeps denying something over and over and over. But they are guilty as charged. We have this Matthew that fell out while I was trying to flip over those energies over there. Okay, this is Capricorn energy. Boy, oh boy, hold on, wait a minute. Look at the karma. We got karma out here twice. I cannot make this up. Coupled with the damn who touched my garments, with the Job 26, with the star, and with the child. I feel like this person... This person thought that they could come in and start a family with you. I feel like this person wanted to start a family with you, but not to have and behold you or to walk alongside you and be with you. No, this person just wanted to be a part of your blessings. This person just wanted to have a reason to be attached to your money somehow, some way. Look at the eye of a needle coupled with autumn. So this person feels like they missed out on an opportunity, which they did. They absolutely did. But it's like there's no getting you back at this point. You don't even want to be this person's friend. Remember the friend fell out in reverse? It's like, go away. Anything else? Anything else? We have this prophet. This person created a lot of drama for you. Or maybe this is just this person's energy right here. A prophet is hated in their own hometown. Let me find out. This person can't come around you. Yeah, we got stalker out here. This person can't come around you at all. Anything else? We have this Psalms 27. That is they who stumble and fall. Mm -hmm. It could be this person's person. This person could still be with person number one. This person number one could know about you. And this person could be trying to create problems for you. Either one of these people could be stalking you. It's either your ex or your ex's person. Anything else. Nothing else is coming out. Psalms 140. Deliver me from my enemies. 
boy oh boy again it could either be this person or this person's person who's stalking the hell out of you you have an enemy believe that you definitely have an enemy out here who's been creating problems for you and it has to do with a man it has to do with an ex a masculine energy if this masculine doesn't know if this masculine has nothing to do with these issues with this drama then surely it is his person or his ex that's been creating problems for you unbeknownst to him and unbeknownst to you somebody's creating problems or has been and I feel like these people are about to be exposed. How the hell you got karma out here twice? This is a sure ass thing right here. Karma number one. Karma number two. And this karma fell out with the world. Somebody's about to pay big time. Okay. Oh yeah. This, this ain't nothing small that's going to happen behind the scenes. This is something that you are going to know about. Somebody's going to pay for torturing you, for stalking you, for being malicious, doing certain things to you. I don't know if this has to do with your job or if this has to do with online gang stalking. Somebody could be posting your pictures on porn sites, just, just doing all kinds of stuff. And I don't know why I said that. Maybe that is what's going on out here. Somebody could be trying to tamper with your door, your home, your car. Peculiar little things going on. But somebody is about to be exposed this is going to track right back to someone who you used to deal with. And people are going to realize, you know what? These people never left that person alone. These people are still bothering that person. These people just won't stop, huh? Okay. We got karma out here twice. We have competition and conflict out here twice and karma out here twice. Let's just get the oracle. How do we sum this reading up? What is our oracle? Can I please get the oracle? What is the oracle? Boy, oh boy, I'm not going to read all of that. Speak to me, Father God. What is the oracle? Mm, 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 mm. Seems like this deck wants to speak. Can I just get one energy for the oracle, please? Mm. Father God, what? <sighs> we have two energies. We have the wall, obstacles, and the closing door, completion. Didn't I tell you you're done? Didn't I tell you? You're done. Completion, the closing door. But then there's obstacles. Someone's trying to keep you from closing that door completely. I can't deal. You know what? The closing door. It says, when the closing door shows up, it's a call to recognize an ending. To terminate a relationship, job, task, or situation that has been dragging on far too long. Unlock the cage you have been trapped in and shut the door behind you. This is not the time to worry about what others might think or feel. Instead, break with the routine. Consider what you think and how you feel and be true to your heart's calling. It's time to walk out the door. If you do not see a door, but only a solid wall in front of you, ask for assistance. Muster the courage to say no more, no mas. Remember as well that no one else needs to be wrong in order for you to do what you feel is right. If the door to a project or a relationship has been closed to you, stop knocking on it. You have tried that already and no one answered, at least not in the way you would have liked. Take this as a gift, difficult and painful as it might be. Just move on. Every door that shuts is an invitation to find another way, another path to your destination. Better to recognize this earlier rather than later. How many of us leave a relationship or job years after we knew it was time to move on? Stop wallowing in the pain and lingering on the reasons why things did not work. It is keeping you from greater calling. Bow deeply before that damn closed door. Give thanks to the lessons and set your ass free. Need I say more?
Listen, y'all, take whatever resonated with you and leave the rest. This is Mina Means once again. I am the Time Oracle, and I always leave you with peace, love, and everything beautiful from up above. I'm out. One.